kinetics, and reaction coordinate diagrams. Kinetics is the study of rates of reactions, or how fast reactions proceed. Reaction rate is the rate at which reactants disappear and products form. It's how fast the reaction takes place. Collision theory is the basic theory behind kinetics. In order for a reaction to occur, the reactants must collide in the correct orientation or position and with the minimum amount of energy to transform from the reactants to the products. Only a small percentage of collisions produce a successful reaction. However, the overall number of collisions is so large that even the small percent that are successful is enough for the reaction to proceed. Reactants must come in contact in order to react. There's no way these two molecules will react unless they come in contact. But not every collision produces a reaction. They must collide in the correct orientation to react. This is not the correct orientation for these two molecules. No reaction will occur. However, if they collide in this orientation, this is the correct way, and a reaction will occur, changing the chemical bonds of the two molecules. Even when a collision has the correct orientation, it also must have the minimum energy to transform into the reactants. For example, these molecules do collide with the correct orientation. However, their energy is very low. No reaction takes place. This set of molecules collides with greater energy. A reaction will take place. Activation energy is the minimum energy the collision must have in order for a successful reaction. Reaction coordinate diagrams show the energy of the reactants, the activated complex, and the products. The reactants are shown on the far left. The activated complex, or the transition state, is at the top of the hill. The products are shown on the right. The distance between the reactants and the activated complex is equal to the activation energy. The distance between the products and the reactants is the overall energy change for the reaction. What exactly is an activated complex, also known as the transition state? It's the in-between stage when the reactants have not yet broken apart and the products have not yet formed. These are the reactants. This is the activated complex. The F2 bond has not yet broken, and the Fn bond has not yet formed. These are the products. Endo and exothermic are terms that refer to the overall energy change of a process. Endothermic means the process takes in energy. The products have more energy than the reactants. Exothermic means the reaction gives off energy. The products have less energy than the reactants. Reaction coordinate diagrams show an endo or exothermic reaction. In this case, the products have more energy. This is an endothermic reaction. In this example, the products have less energy. They lost energy as compared to the reactants. This is an exothermic reaction. What factors affect reaction rates? How does surface area affect reaction rate? Reactions must collide in order to react. Greater surface area 
means more can collide at the same time. More collisions at the same time means more successful collisions. As surface area increases, reaction rate also increases. Reactant concentration also affects reaction rate. Only a small fraction of collisions are successful. More reactants means more collisions. More collisions means more successful collisions. As concentration increases, rate also increases. Temperature also affects reaction rate. As reactants collide with more energy, higher temperature, there's a greater likelihood that the collision will have the minimum energy, the activation energy, in order to result in a successful reaction. For most reactions, as temperature increases, reaction rate also increases. Catalysts speed up a reaction. They are not used up themselves in the reaction. They are present in the beginning and the end. Catalysts lower the activation energy of a reaction. This means more collisions will be successful as they don't need as high of energy. Enzymes are an example of catalysts in our bodies. Catalysts make a successful collision more likely. They lower the activation energy by allowing reactants to react in a different way or by holding reactants in place for the reaction. Once they've done their job, they're released and available to help another reactant. 